Okay, um, messing around on the bench as usual, um, doing various things, and uh, I was just stood here thinking about um, Robert Murray Smith's uh, one centimetre super capacitor. Um, I thought, I wonder if you can build a one centimetre battery. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> well, I'm having a go. Um, as you can see, that uh, copper foil there is a it's about a centimetre. Um, so what I've got is copper foil, carbon, um, separator and uh, zinc. Now that zinc plate, well, it's about a centimetre isn't it? Uh, maybe 12 mil. Okay we call it 12 mil. But it's it's one centimetre battery. This is my one centimetre battery. Just pretend my eyes are playing me up or something like that. Um, there's my trusty little jewel thief with the uh, 12 LEDs. There's your voltage meter and current. Okay, so if we just connect it up. The voltage is 9.9, 9.8. It's going down a bit, but if I just hold that there. And connect up the jewel thief. There we go. Peaked at eight milliamps, and uh, it's going to drop. We know that, but it's running the jewel thief okay, and uh, the twelve LEDs. Um, I haven't tested this over a long period, but it was just. Uh, a little play that's all while I was still here you know waiting for something to dry there we go down to 0.525 and the current's up and down it, it does with these dual thieves but can't make its mind up with the current down to 2.2 milliamps ish so there you go a one centimetre battery. I'm going to work on this though. I'm, I'm loving this now. It's, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Just work on it and try and get a bigger capacity now. Get more current out of it. More volts. It's um, it's it. Uh, that's what it's all about. It's Robert Murray Smith. He always says that he's trying to encourage us to experiment. And this is an experiment, isn't it? So there you go. One centimetre battery. Okay. Back on. One centimetre battery. Let's move that out of the way so you can hopefully see that. Right. And it's not acting as a switch, you know, there's nothing else connected up to it, there's no trickery, it's just, just a little battery. There's my uh, crystal cell that was connected up to this prior to me messing around with this. There we go. So, um, I can't really say um, or divulge what the uh, electrolyte was made of or anything like that. Um, but... Uh, that's just one of those things, isn't it? It's top secret. Current's dying now, look. Well, actually, if I press a bit harder, it comes back to life, but not expecting too much at this stage. It was just a very quick play. So there you go. A one centimetre battery. Speak to you soon. The foot. Which was... Um, I wonder if I just leave that for a minute, which I've left it for about a minute and a half now, would it regenerate itself again the way this cell regenerates itself? Because this does regenerate. Well, that's, that's been off now for about half an hour. I might, I might leave it for a couple of hours and just see what the voltage is, because I know that recovers. So we shall see.
just another thought. We'll try it. Um, obviously, as I said, I can't you know, divulge what the um, electrolyte was made up of. Um, it is a secret at this stage. Okay. Right. Let's see if there's been any recovery. Three, two, one. And yes, they have peaked at seven milliamps then. Um, well over half a volt, 0.6 something. Couldn't quite catch it. But yeah, a recovery period. So, I think a little play with the, um, the electrolyte on this one and just uh, try and make it a bit stronger. I don't know. We'll see. You've got to keep keep the pressure on this. Um, the um, the separator that I've used is this stuff. It's um, it's not kitchen roll. It's um, it's like a, a one of those um, uh, they're called. Hold on. <coughs> Oh yeah, super absorbent cloths. That's what I use into the separator. Um, I don't know how much difference that makes, but um, that will play with different separators as well. Yeah, that's way, way running out of uh, juice now. So now uh, this is this is obviously still live. If I just leave that for a second or two, I don't know, um, should we sing a song? No, I can't sing. Um, okay, we'll try it. We'll give it ten seconds. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, look at that. Recovered. In about, I don't know, thirty odd seconds. That's crazy. Well, it's not lasting again, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, experimentation, Robert. So, there you go. I'll have a play with um, the electrolyte a bit more, and uh, obviously just keep it a secret for now. And, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm rabbiting on again. Speak soon. Just a quick um, afterthought. Um, I'm just, I was just thinking about surface area then, and I'm just wondering how much this is about surface area. I mean, you saw me put the plate flat, but what if I just put it on its edge, like that? As in, just, just the edge. Just touching the edge on the separator there. Let's first let's just quickly see what the volts are. Right. Okay, up to a volt fluctuating. Now if I connect up the jewel thief first and then just try that edge on that separator. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's certainly trying. Hmm, that is interesting. So we've still got half a volt, and it's, I mean, it's the fact I just can't hold it properly, um, that's, that's a bit better, and uh, still drawing current even from that edge, but um, not quite as good as with the, the plate being flat, but try it again, put the plate flat. 
Yeah. So I think we can gather from that that uh, it's not all about massive surface area, but it does have a, a big part to play. Oh well, just another afterthought.